Okay, I'm going to show the Rauchwin form. It has about 108, just like Tai Chi, uh, postural movement. Uh, it's an ancient form. It was brought back to Shaolin through Wu Shanlin, Wu Guolin, Xi Di Jian, and Xi Di Jian students are the ones that teach in Deng Feng Village, so there's a bunch of students there. You've got a woman student that teaches, he's got Zhu Tianzi, who does this form on video who, when he was in his 20s, and then he does it again when he's older on a, a VC, commercial VCD. Anyway, this form has all the principles of internal martial arts. Everything you are told to do in Tai Chi, you do in this form. You do the rooting, you do the grounding, you do the turn from the Dantian, you do everything. <clears throat> also, this form, its various pieces can be found in the rest of the system. Okay, Shaolin today has all these forms. They came from Shi Di Chen and his teachers, right? There are two Shaolin abbots that he learned from and two village Wu Guo Lin and Wu Shan Lin. Um, they came back to Shaolin and retaught the forms. You know, like I told you, it's been destroyed after 1949, let alone all the other times. So it was preserved in the countryside. So this form is important. It has movements that are also found in Lohan Chuan, Qing Gang Chuan, Xiao Hong Chuan, maybe Da Hong Chuan, uh, Pao Choi, right, Pao Choi. Um, and there's Yao and Da versions, okay? The Xiao versions can be found in the suburbs of Shaolin. The Da versions are usually done in Shaolin. Okay, that's just so, it doesn't mean bigger or smaller, no. You know what's really funny? The Xiao forms are four sections, okay? And the, Da forms are two, so it does not mean bigger or smaller. It means greater or lesser, the greater area, the lesser area. Eh, they got their reasons. Today, nobody knows why they changed it to that. There's stupid people that are reversing the names and confusing everybody on YouTube. I mean, these people think they know everything. And they're also, they're, this is the big giant joke of their YouTube videos. They'll not only change the names of the forms, but they will say that the standard forms come from Shaolin and that the suburbs don't do the standard forms. That's hilarious. Shaolin lost everything. The forms come from Wu Sanlin, Wu Guolin, his son, and Xi Di Jian, who learned from them, and the other two people that taught at Shaolin. So, that came back to Shaolin. They all came back to Shaolin, okay? They were all hiding in the countryside. So they all came back. Do you know how many people were murdered in the caves that are around Shaolin? Whole families. The Japanese would come and hunt dogs in the cave so that they killed them all, okay? So out of that whole area, the people in the mountains were preserving the Qigong, like Mogao village, north of Shaolin, and Dengfeng village and all the way to Kaifeng and Luoyang, the Shaolin was all spread out, okay? So let's not be confused by these bozos that don't, they actually got into arguments with me saying that Shi Di Jian was not a true Shaolin teacher. Just mind boggling the ignorance and stupidity of these people who don't know basic history. And these are fucking American people. They're not even, um, they're not even, Chinese. All right. So the form starts with Qigong, as usual. You go like this, and you come up. And this one has lift and stretch. So you lift from the inside of your legs, the Qi, and you pull down from the heavens. And as you're doing that, you can feel the Qi packing into you. I mean, if you're good at Qigong, you're gonna feel this. So I'm gonna have to back up because the form is long the road, so 
I don't have the space left and right. Okay, from here, this is from Pao Chuan. And this is from, you see this, always in Tai Chi. So you do it twice, okay? You do it stepping back and the hand in front. Then you do it stepping in front and the hand here. And this one has a jump, so it's, and then jump, okay? From there, guard your face, turn around, punch, punch, punch. This is called planting a punch, boom. Back fist, all right? This move is always skipped by anybody that shows it to you today. Then you do Lohan plants a flag, bang. Okay, I don't know if you can see me. Okay, one, two, step back, turn around, boom. From here, double snake eyes. So what's the double snake eyes? You find that in the Lohan 13 postures. There's a lot of the moves from Lohan 13 postures are in this form and a lot of the moves from Chen Yun Go. Okay, now you go back. This is always done in Yang Tai Chi, right? You go like this, and instead of stepping forward, I am going to side kick, scorpion kick. Now you do exactly the same, exactly the same as in return tiger to mountain. Then, then you move over, you turn your foot in, I turn my foot in, not my heel out, because I know what I'm doing. I, I know how to fight, and I fought people my whole life. Go like this, circle, kick. This is from Pao Chuen, classic Pao Chuen. Kick, punch, box the ears, block, okay? That's from Pao Chuen, that's right here. All right, let me move back. Kick, boom, boom. All right, from here, you scoop up, sideways chop. I like that move. Scoop up, sideways chop. Okay, classic Shaolin. That's found in Xiao Hong Chuan. Double clouds overhead. That's basically in Tai Chi. They just do it a different way. Boom. Single whip Shaolin way. Okay. So, you do cloud overhead, punch, go down like this, right? After you do this, you go down like this. So that's a classic move. Double clouds overhead, you come completely turn around, step in and punch, single whip, come back. Elbow, back fist, double punch. Then, split the mountain, okay? Some people do that four times. I mean, it's made that you can do it four times, right? As long as it's four, you go back where you started. From here, we do single-sided, right? So look, this is the same as Wing Chun. They do it in small circles. It's the exact same move in Silam Dao. It's, if you look at the red boat, the red boat, the red opera. They do everything the way the old Shaolin forms do it, except with small circles, okay? They just changed it from large frame to small frame. So, according to the, in Indonesia, the people that do red boat for a long time, hundreds of years, they said that Sulum Dao the little idea, which really means little details, was originally called Shaolin Dao. And all three of the Wing Chun forms were one long form. The Bill G and the other ones, it was all one long form. All those moves in their form, I found them all in the Rao Chuan system. So the monks that escaped from the north that went on the boats and wore all the makeup and acted. Um, I mean, look, they do this salute. It's the same as... Right, they do the salute in their operas. And it's the same as why Crane spreads his wings. All right, so, okay, you're here. One, two, three, four, and grab and go forwards. One, two, three, four, grab and go backwards. One, 
two, three, four, grab and go backwards. One, two, three, four. Okay, then you do the next move. One, two, go, go. One, two, go, go. One, two, go, go. Okay, now you do this. Lift your foot, spear. One, two, three. Lift your foot, spear. Step forward, pull down. Low on, low main on the right. Then circle your hands and step back into horse stance, okay? Horse stance. Cir one hand is up, one hand's a hook. Up, horse stance. Up, horse stance. So if you don't have enough room, just switch feet, see? But land in the horse stance. Why? The horse stance is knocking somebody over. You're, you're hooked around their leg. Look, you are hooked around their leg and you're gonna break their leg. Look at my stick bending, okay? And this is pulling back and this is holding here. So you are, if you're doing a staff form, okay, you can do this whole form with the staff. Just like I said, every single Shaolin form, if it's authentic, can be done with the staff, which means the Tai Chi forms can be done with the staff. The Chen Lao Chia and the Yang Lao Chia, Yi Lu, first form. I, I, I practice with a staff. I do the whole forms with a staff. Maybe I'll videotape it. Okay, so you go backwards. And after you're here and go backwards, spin around and you start to go forwards four times. Okay, after the fourth one, spin around, step, step. Come in, diagonal fly, step, circle, all right? Step, circle, kick, back kick, twist, right? Step, step, go overhead. And this is from Pao Choi. Left, right, guard, circle. It's also found in the... Uh, Rao Chuen, punch, like this, kick, elbow, jump, jump, step, step, chop, one, two, three, okay, one, two, three, it's like, it's a tricky hand maneuver, uh, it's called touch, touch, go, touch, 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 go, right, uh, if you learn from me, I'll teach you what it does. Then you step around, carry the basket under the arm, bump, stomp, jump, shake, horse trembles, horse trembles. Then you do the Ultraman, if you ever watch that, the Ultraman thing. Hook down, turn around. Hook down, turn around. Hook down, turn around. Hook down, turn around. You want to get on your left, because you're going to do left, low high, low main. Twist into diagonal fly. Then row the boat against current. <sighs> row the boat against current. <sighs> you breathe hard. <sighs> row the boat against the current. Notice I'm always doing the Bagua stepping, which Shaolin invented, not Bagua. By Ko. Turn on the gas, step on the brakes. Okay, from here. Circle, trip, jump, jump, come in, go out, okay? Grab, grab, big circle, big circle, big circle, big circle, shoot the tiger, double clouds overhead, and you end like Pao Chuen ends. 